What's up? How's it going? How are you? Like this video if you are a fan of Max Verstappen. Today we are, or Sebastian Vettel, or Lewis, or whoever. Today we are fixing SLI support for F1 2020. You don't know what that means. I don't know why you're watching this video. Basically, I'm going to make two NVIDIA GPUs work together for F1 2020. It is super easy. Let's get right into it. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. How about that? Here we go. All right, first things first, we're going to go down to our file explorer, correct? Right? Yes. I'm going to make this in full screen. So go to your, this PC, go to your C drive, and go to view. Make sure you have hidden items right here selected. You need that to, to do what we're doing today. All right, so we're going to go to program data. Double click on that. Scroll down to NVIDIA corporation double click on drs click on the nvdrs bin 0 and the nvdrs bin 1 click on that shift click on this now right click go down to properties turn it uh to read only off you need uh read only off or we're not going to be able to do any of this cool all right next step like the video if you haven't already it's gonna work in fact here's what it looks like working All right, next we're going to use NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'm using the 2.13.10 version and the GeForce Driver 451.67. So we're going to leave F1 20, uh, 20 and go to F1 2019, not the DX12 one, F1 2019, not DX12. You cannot use SLI and DX12. We're going to go to that, right? And we're going to check out what settings they're using. They're using SLI predefined mode GPU count DX10.4 and SLI predefined mode DX10 for its AFR. So we actually don't need to be here right now. Let's go back to F1 2020. You will need that in a second. Can I type? F1 2020. Bam. We're going to come up here to remove application from current profile. Uh, this little square with an X through it, click that. And, uh, rem yeah, remove the, F the F1 2020 EXE, pretty much. There should be a different one that is not DX12. Remove that one. We don't need the DX12 one. Click Apply. And then we're going to go back to F1 2019, not DX12. Correct. Click Add Application to Current Profile. Then wherever you installed F1 2020, mine is my G Drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common F1 2020. If you do not know where to find that, let's go to Steam real quick. Library, uh, right click on F1 2020, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, that is where your F1 game is. Okay, cool. Does that make sense? All we're going to do is add this F1 2020 EXE to the current profile. Correct? All right, bam, it's added. We're going to come up here and click Apply Changes at least three times. One, two, three. Or a lot. Then minimize that. Go back to your DRS folder. Once again, your C drive, program data, NVIDIA Corporation, then DRS. We need this bin and this bin. Click one, shift, click the other one, Properties. Correct? Now, re-click read only. Apply, apply, apply. Okay, all good. And then that's it. SLI now works in F1 2020. Here's some more gameplay. Check it out. Leave a like, subscribe, and also check out some of my other SLI videos. I have tons of them. Battlefield, Skyrim, Divinity Original Sin, all, a lot of games. Go check those out. The playlist will be at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, leave a like and I don't know, say thank you in the comments below. There is SLI support in F1 2020. Go Verstappen, go Red Bull, go Vettel. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Peace.